There you go. This took about two seconds. We didn't have the camera on. Look at it coming out of the rockets already. All sides. Well, we wanted to come out all of them. These were all lubed. I lubed these. Well, how's it going back down? It's going down these holes. Oh, see, the goal is not to have it come down on our feet. Mm -hmm. But um, let's see where it's coming out. We got them coming out of here already. Holy crap! This motor like primed up like instant. We don't have 30 seconds worth of runtime on it yet, and everything's primed. I'm gonna go a little slower. Look at that! Look how slow it's going. You can't say it's pressure without flow. Look how much flow is coming out of that rocker. The first rocker. That's 50 pounds of oil pressure. Hardly moving. What, the oil? No. Well, if I nail it, it's going to go all over your lap. No, I know that, but it's not. Well, the distributor spins half the speed of an engine, too. But when it hits its regulator, it's, it'll open up. There you go. Right now, 70 pounds is what it's at. For ice cold oil. And the drill's ready to smoke. I told you, it takes a big load. Okay, is every one of these. Whoa, man, the heads are full. Yeah, come okay. Heads are full. See, that's the problem with AMC. The heads fill up quick and they don't train back fast enough. They say. When you're going down the highway, there's a quart and a half suspended inside the motor. Just there, not down in the pan. So we should have the camera on. Literally five seconds, and we had full oil pressure already. So now, they're not still fully not pumped up, but they're more pumped up than they were. There you go. None of them just go to the bottom. Okay, so this side everyone's coming up. Let me check the other side. Make sure everything. You want to go over there and look? I did. Okay. We got to get a panoramic shot. Okay, it's amazing how fast I get over pressure. It's like this third rock arena. I don't see nothing. See, there's still a couple that don't have anything? Mm -hmm. That's just the way they're sitting on the board. If you notice, this, this lift is slightly down. So this probably isn't lined up. This one's slightly down. This one's not lined up, so it's not filling up. Okay? Man, my drill is ready to go on fire. So every other one's pumping minus this one and this one. So really what has to happen is you crank the engine and get these to seat down and they'll fill right up. Any oil leaks? So I'm assuming that gauge is accurate. It is a Sun Pro. Made in the Republic of the United States. When would you know if the heads were leaking? No, that's coolant. Oh. When we fire it up, that's exactly when you're going to know what that. So right now, I don't even have the intake off. If you looked right now, you'd see all the tops of the lift is soaking wet and pouring over. Okay, now I filled this engine through the distributor hole. I don't want to fill it in the valley because I don't want to wash off the additive on the can to break it in. You understand? Even though right now it's running all over it in a way, I didn't want to soak it with it. So now, if I put a ratchet handle here and crank this a little bit to get these two, these would overflow too. 
What you gonna do? Why you turn the camera? Was that the spark? No, that was it spraying you right there. Which one sprayed out like that? This one. Okay, now I know which one that's in front of. There you go. There it is. There's number three. And we're just waiting on our last one. This, but we didn't. Oh, no, it's going. Which one are you talking about? Uh, it was actually this one. This one, this one. Yeah, this one, this one. Well, it just started flowing. Oh, I saw it coming out. How much oil pressure is too bad? Right now we're at 70. Which is exactly what my car starts up as. And here's the tool. Show them the tool. Okay. For all you AMC people, this is a shaft out of a Chevy distributor because they made 9 million Chevy distributors and if anybody knows the bottom is the same as an AMC even though the shaft is longer and just a piece of clear hose which you slip like this to keep it guided and that's it and you watch out for these things can you just cut them off? yeah, next engine next engine I promise I'll cut them off I was going to cut them off 15 years ago That's good. Here's your hold down. I painted that. Just gonna get a bolt for that. Yeah, when we fire it up, we're gonna use this gauge here. I'll use all three of them. Use the old thing. It'll be hooked up by then. Um, the temperature gauge will be screwed into somewhere. On this one here. Good to go, but... Okay, my mistake was not having the camera on when we did it. It was under five seconds. It was like, eh, done. And the oil pressure was already at like 30. It was like instant. So, and like I said to Junior, because he wasn't here when I filled what I did, I didn't fill the oil on the rockers. Um, each one of these balls had, uh, what you call it, lube on there, that jam breaking lube. I filled it up through the distributor hole with five quarts in it. Uh, pump was packed with Vaseline, as you guys saw. And I know the jury's still out, and whether people like that or don't like that. And the oil filter was dry. So, and like I said, as soon as we moved it and released the pressure off those two rockers, there's the proof, guys. That's when Junior went, ooh, and he went back. See the line on the garage door? So, there you go. Uh, that's good, man. We're good to go. That's all I wanted to see. So, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. That oil pressure will drop as soon as the engine starts and warms and does its thing. But, uh, believe me, that's what mine fires up and stays at. Um, this is, what do we got here right now? We have 1540 Rotella. We'll break it in with this, then this will come out. Obviously with the additive in it. Um, and now that the cold weather's coming, I'll probably stick to somewhere in that weight to 1040. I won't go any thicker than that. This I run uh, 2050 in. Um, but, uh. Yeah, we're good. We're good. So, that's it, guys. It might be a short video, but it's. This is the video I needed to see. Now we could just slap this thing together. So, uh, to answer a couple of questions, and I hate to do it because that just jinxes everything, uh, I've been asked when are we going to run it and when are we going to install it? Okay, running it. I am looking to kick this thing off on Labor Day weekend, one of the three days, preferably Sunday, is when I'm looking to do this. Okay, don't hold me to it, but that's when I'm looking to do it. Um, that'll be with the standard flywheel on the back, meaning a stick flywheel. The tranny will be hooked to it, but it won't be hooked to it. It won't be, um, it won't be joined at the crank. I need something to support the starter. The starter hooks to the bell housing. So. 
We're probably going to have his trainee on the back just for the appearance, but I can grab any one of those other trainees, the, the other shorter trainees, and put it on. Either or, it doesn't matter. Um, we're putting the 600 back on it. We're just going to run a rubber fuel line from here to there for the single 600 to break it in. Uh, what distributor we're using to break it in? Probably points. And uh, then we'll work on, there's going to get cutworms whole set up in here. The uh, distributor cutworm was kindly enough to kind enough to send to my son which was the MSD unit with the 6AL box and the wires, the nice tail wires um, that was originally sent for this engine it wasn't sent with the 401 even though it came out of the 401 so we thank him again for that so that will definitely be in the car we're going to do that after we break it in um, installation that's up to Junior this is where I have to step aside um, a lot has changed guys a lot has changed in the last couple of years the roadkill has taken over that's all I could say and I'm a fan of what they're doing um, because they're really not destroying anything they're taking crap that was ready for the crusher and they're making it move again and I don't want to say nothing but cars were getting so ridiculous in price that people just couldn't afford them anymore so if you can get something that's low buck and make it run and function good, some of the stuff I think they're a little laxed on and they shouldn't videotape it, but um, or just never say it. You know, if the car doesn't have rear brakes, don't say it. It doesn't matter if you do it, just don't say it. Because some people will take it literally. But uh, we talked about this the other night at cruise night. It was me, little guy, Lord I three quarter, and Billy. We were sitting there talking. Uh, when we had a break from everybody else and the question was is what are you gonna do to put this in the car and he said to me what do you mean I said well, what are you gonna do I said the rest is up to you I said are you taking the other engine out I said you sanding it stripping it painting it I said are you gonna wipe it down are you just gonna clean it what are you gonna do and his answer to me was I'm gonna go in there I'm gonna clean it and we're putting it in just like that obviously with the power brakes and a new fuel and brake line to the back that's what he wants and I'm a hundred percent agreeance with that because that means he could drive this thing and it's gonna age and wear and whatever but that's good that's good um, there are gonna be some things done to this car that I'm never ever gonna show on video for theft protection and someone would have to be really keen to get this car to start when we're done and it's simple so uh, with that said I would like to him to be able to just leave it in the parking lot it's one thing to come out and see a window broken or a door jimmied open but still have the car there um, so with that said guys uh, like I said I'm happy I guess this is as happy as I get <laughs> uh, so with that we gotta get uh, I'm going to give one quick look over the rockers, even though I know they're all good. And i got to go get some valve cover bolts, and we got to go get some intake manifold bolts, and get the intake and valve covers on this thing. Um, we got to make up that spacer. I was at the auto parts store. I remembered when I walked in to get the two belts, but I stood on line so long with that quart, those quartz oil in my hand, that by the time I got up there, I forgot about them. So... Uh, and that's it and I don't know if anybody understood what I meant this fuel pump is temporary we are going to switch over to a different type of pump I just needed something basic inexpensive to fire this car up you know what I mean he could drive around pretty much all the time on that but if you really wanted to get on this car you'd probably run out of fuel with that those things flow like 23 gallons an hour or something something little so, um, so that's it guys, I'm rambling, I'm out of here, I'm happy, he's happy, and look how much oil is still laying up here. Now you guys know why when my valve covers leak, how much they leak. So, okay guys, we're gone.